inside of a conductor, there are delocalized or free electrons. These electrons do not move in a straight line. That's because they collide into other particles within the conductor, such as ions. Each electron travels with a different velocity and a different path. When there is no potential difference between the two ends of the conductor, the random motion of the electrons will cancel out each other, giving an overall velocity or net velocity of zero. But if we now apply a potential difference across the conductor, there will be an overall average velocity in one direction. This average velocity of the electrons is known as the drift velocity. To derive the expression for drift velocity, let's consider just one section of the conductor. Taking an electron at some position here, this electron travels with a velocity v. In time t, it travels a distance d. By definition, speed or velocity is distance divided by time. Rearranging this, distance is velocity multiplied by time. In this section of the conductor, there is more than one electron. So we have to consider this as a three-dimensional problem by considering the whole volume. The volume of the cylindrical section is the cross-sectional area A multiplied by the distance D. But D is equal to VT. So substitute this into here to get volume is AVT. Depending on what substance the conductor is made of, the number of electrons per unit volume will be different. Or you can think of it as how dense the electrons are packed into a certain space. For example, there are more free electrons in each cubic meter of copper than there are in silver. So if we let n be the number of electrons per unit volume, the total number of electrons in this section is the volume multiplied by n. But the volume is equal to AVT, so this here becomes AVTN. The charge on one single electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. We can simply represent this by the symbol E. Therefore, the total charge within this section is AVTNE. Current is the total amount of charge passing through a point in a unit of time. So current I is AVTNE divided by time. Cancel the T's. We finally arrive at the equation I is equal to AVNE. So current is equal to the cross-sectional area times the drift velocity times the number of electrons per unit volume times the charge on one electron. This equation shows us that the larger the drift velocity of the electrons, the larger the current is.